The valley of Ebu Vale used to be home to the largest steelworks in Europe, but production ended in 2002, leaving only historic buildings and high unemployment. Since then, hundreds of millions of euros have been poured into the area by the European Regional Development Fund, investment which will end now the UK has left the EU. But locals hope the British government will step in to fill the vacuum. But I think the government needs to change its way of thinking that the EU will not be there to chuck money at us that we can actually use. We have to find our own way of doing it. And the only way that can happen is if central government looks on smaller areas like this and realises that the investment is needed. Over the years, the EU has paid for road and rail links, sports facilities and educational projects like this adult learning centre. But despite this, the area saw the highest pro-Brexit vote in all of Wales. This imposing steel dragon has come to represent local disapproval of the EU. A symbol of Wales, for many here, this town square redevelopment project also symbolises wasteful EU spending. An eye-catching project which didn't directly create jobs. Like the decorations that they've used the funds for hasn't been that widely accepted and it's just a waste of us just think, oh well it's a waste of money. More practical EU projects include this vocational college, built on the site of the former steelworks. High school students learn practical design and engineering skills here. Staff at the centre worry that British funding won't fully replace European support. I suspect that there will be less funding available to us, so we are going to have to be a lot, um, a lot more focused about what we do and what those benefits will be. Boris Johnson's government has pledged to level up parts of the UK that are in the economic slow lane. But it may prove a difficult promise to keep if the economy suffers following the post-Brexit transition, particularly in the wake of coronavirus.